Hello! So, we're back to my Hero Wars Let's Play. Got a new hero. Morgan! She's actually a good hero. Like, she's one I will need later for Rufus. I didn't even know I was eligible to get said, but uh, that's good because we do need her. Um... But both this ability here, Necromancy, is actually super important and helps you deal with Rufus. So getting her is not bad. That was a nice open. So she's definitely a hero we will probably use. And honestly, we can level her up. Let's level her up because we will... We will actually want to start leveling up her Necromancy here. Oh, man. That's what I mean. We have not leveled up a lot of these extra heroes because it takes a lot of potions. Look how fast those DXP potions go. Okay, but we just used up most of our XP potions, so... But we're a couple days from leveling up, so I think we'll be fine. Um, let's equip the stuff, let's promote her. Because we want to get that, start getting that neck around. So she's, this is actually an important hero to have, because this will help us with our Rufus problems. Because sometimes you're running Rufus, like, she's good versus Rufus. There we go, Moonlight, that's her healing ability. Let's see, heals. Um, this one, I think, also heals. Right, this one also. So she has two healing abilities. Mostly these are self-heals, and they heal her little minions that she summons. We just want to get her to Violet. Looks like getting heroes to Violet is pretty easy after you're, like, orange rank on your main team, because you'll have a bunch of stuff saved up. See, there we go. Now we're Violet. This unlocks Necromancy, which is where we're going to put some skills here. Because we want to max out the Necromancy, because we'll need her for Rufus teams. So this is good. And this is something we could probably put in our GA teams as well. Um, but we're about, actually, about 10 minutes from our arena cutoff time, so we probably want to get on our arena fights here. But we're not going to level up today, so we are said so is fine to do all that. And we did get a roar at Absolute Star yesterday, so... Yeah, that was a good hero to pull. Like, that's a hero we definitely will be using, so that was a nice surprise. Let's see, do we have Lars? Okay, now we can go work on Aurora. Let's get... Probably should check my Ascension and then do some arena fights here. Defeat my 60 monster chapter 8. Ugh. See, I should have looked at that first. Tower coins. I'll have to do the tower first. Okay. So let's do some arena fights. So we can level up a skin. So let's level up Aurora skin. Boom. Two more levels in the lesbian skin. So our magic tax almost 300k. Almost. Brighter than the sun, the we'll Duke Glyph. Hey, Ishmael Souls. There we go. And artifact and and uh, gifts of the elements, and then we'll do our arena fights. We have like seven or eight minutes, so that's plenty of time. Max level, so boom. Okay, let's do arena fights. They're kind of low level, so let's try it. Since they are low, like like not low level but low power, they are higher level than me. 
And after my arena fights, I need to go show you the the results for our Saturday war. All right, that gets us in the top 100. Nice. Aurora for the win. A lot of guild needs here. Super friend. We might be able to get this one. Oh, shoot. Uh-oh. Nope, we are not going to get this one. Getting chain silenced here. <laughs> Maybe we can. Aurora is pretty powerful. Oh, so close. So close. Aurora just doesn't have quite enough health yet. Once we max out her other stuff, we're just one thing at a time. But they like said, Rainbow Halo. Like, you saw the Rainbow Halo doing so much damage. Like I said, we almost won. That is the power of Rainbow Halo. Aurora really is the best anti-mage hero. People start by, like, no, Aurora really is uh, it. This is why you lose her. She's, she's the best hero versus physical attackers, best hero versus magic attackers. Like I said, she is just plain OP. Isaac's kind of like a second Aurora, but he's just not quite as good. Overall, I mean, just Isaac's really good, but he's only good versus magic. And Dante's only good versus physical. Like, where Aurora's like the best of both. Uh-oh. Or has too much physical attack, apparently. She keeps getting targeted by Phobos. Ouch. Not quite. So close. Wow, a lot of damage to the Corvus there. High level Albus. Well, not like high, high level, but reasonably well developed. Super friend. That's when we almost beat the one. Let's try this again. We were so close last time. This would be a fun one to beat. Oh, different heroes survived. Last time we lost Arachne and Maya, this time we lost the Celeste and Thea. I think, no, we lost. I can't remember who we lost. Nope, this one's not going to be quite as good. We're doing worse this time. Alright. Well, we're not going to beat Super Friend. Not until she gets more health. Gosh, so many of our guild knights here. You, Leanne, run away. Ah, <laughs> no. Gosh, so many guildmates. Ooh. Ooh, man, do we want to do this one? Jorgen probably kills us. Uh, I don't think we can beat Jorgen. Well, let's go for it. Let's try to get top 70.
Okay, we are getting this here. Oh, maybe. I might lose Aurora though, which we might not be able to recover from. Okay, I think we got it. Yay! Nice, we made it to 67th place. Their cane's kind of weak. They have a bunch of patrons, they, but they do just blue them all. Or they try to violet them all, but there you go. Hero promote rewards. That's right, we got a bunch of emeralds from Morgan. Oh yeah, we should go do a Grand Arena fight. Could probably grab one of these. Um, if, yeah, maybe. Nope, not gonna get it. Well, and we know this team has no chance. Oh yeah, we need to change our Grand Arena fights because we got teams. We gotta put uh, Morgan in these here. Gotta add Morgan to that mess. Oh, but uh, ranking reward, nice, 150 emeralds. I like emeralds. Whoa, popping up some deals, huh? All these bundles are fairly good, but uh, I don't know why it's popping that up. Because we're level 10, but whatever. Okay. Oh, we probably got quest. Here we go. Yay! Let's see. Grand Arena, change. Um, well, I kind of feel like Morgan, I don't know, Morgan does probably not really needed here though. So let's see, who do we swap out? Mm, I got it. We'll put Galahad in this team, Morgan here with, uh, Jew and friends. That makes sense. And then... Who do we got? I guess Ginger can stay here. Alright. There we go. Those are my teams. And then once we attack, we'll switch it again. Add Morgan to one of the attack teams. Because my attack teams are different. My defense teams are a bit more balanced. Attack teams are... Two, two attack, one chump. Now we can speed this up, it's tower.
Okay, got Kane to kill it. All right, brighter than the sun, tower coins, chapter eight, oh, I guess we'll spend some coins, chapter eight it is. There you go. Well, this is embarrassing. My recorder crashed while I was uh, doing my theme and I didn't realize it, so um, I only record, so the first 20 minutes of the video is all we got, so I did the rest of the stuff, but uh, we didn't miss too much. I did a couple of Grand Arena fights. I did set up Morgan and my f defense and attacking teams. Not too big. We were, like, putting a few more skill points into our necromancy skill. We I filled in our equipment here, and then we did our clash fights. We did do our clash fights, and I was and I talked about my guild war stuff, but then didn't get recorded. But I ended up with twenty eight points in clash, which is more than I had the last couple. But we actually got a win here. This was a clean. I cleaned this one up for twenty six points. There you go, Chin Mao. We will play this because it's a rare win in a clash fight. But I'm like, they're tanking with Ishmael. I can probably beat it because dodge for the win. Look at that, we're just gonna dodge him. See, gotta win. The rest were pretty brutals. We got some one couple one points and zero point ones. Like, not much we can do. They're just so much stronger than us. But it does add up. And then the Guild War. 
if we look at the log, we did not win on Saturday, but we came fairly close to two players who just weren't available today, so unfortunately, and I came up short taking the academy. I did win my first fight. Like I said, these guys won 11, so I did bring in Sebastian because he should be able to protect against those stuns at least reasonably well most of the time. They're only one level above us, so... At least once he gets uh, owed up. There's Ode. See, now we're not getting stunned. Well, Sebastian got stunned there, but that, that is a chance since they are higher level, but they're not like super higher level. This is why Sebastian, like you really gotta get your levels up. But he's so important because you, he can protect you from those stuns. Boom. Roar, of course, doing all the damage there. Oh, the wrong fight. That was the wrong one. There you go. Roar doing all the damage there. Clicked on the wrong one. That's the next fight we're going to look at. Which was a near win, but couldn't quite make it. This one was 123, the level difference, so I didn't bring in Sebastian. I just brought in the uh, for extra healing. Looked pretty good early on. But Arachne is a really good hero. Those stuns right there, Arachnemaya is a good combo. Like, stuns were killing us. Said, now if we were higher level, like, we could bring Sebastian to protect against the stuns and probably get an easy win here, but Sebastian's not high enough level to really protect us. God consistently so this is just uh, ends up being a loss unfortunately but uh Rackney's just killing us with those stuns rainbow halo killed them though that's why they fell over that was rainbow halo damage because rainbow halo is a really good ability yep but aurora of course the main main dps so we didn't quite so i came short catch an academy but we had two other people not show up, so we couldn't quite beat them, but uh, we came close. Like, if everyone showed up, I think we could have made it close. But, not too bad. Um, wait, I should check if we had any defensive. Did anyone attack my defenses? Ah, uh, they, they beat me first time, but they had, look at that, 350k power. No wonder they won. Look at that, they're like 10 levels ahead of me. Maybe not quite 10 levels, but... Getting my levels up is going to matter a lot. <laughs> all right. Lost to Rackney already. Well, they lost Yasmin, so I guess that wasn't total route. I'm losing to Celeste and Arachne, though. Is quite a tank, though. My gosh. Takes him forever to finish her. Probably when Arachne ults again. Because then Arachne does some pure damage. Nope. Ara Ara Arachne's ult uh, 
fluff because of Faceless. Faceless and Arachne is kind of a dubious combo because Faceless canceled up Arachne's ult there. Kind of the power throw messed up Arachne's ult, so something to keep in mind if we're trying to use Faceless with Arachne. They're not a good combo. But uh, it took him 90 seconds, like a million damage. Look at that damage, man. Aurora really is pretty strong. Just like said, I mean, really the main thing we need to do is get up Aurora's health now. Like, we're almost done with her uh, magic attack skin. Like, that's what we're working on, magic attack. So, we'll get that one, and then we'll probably do her default skin next. And then spring. We'll probably, I mean, this demonic skin is honestly, it'd probably help us a bit on the low levels, but I just feel like it's doesn't, it doesn't help enough to really be a priority. I mean, some other players, I mean, just skip it and that might be what we do on this count. We might just skip it entirely because it's just, and there's some advantages to not doing the armor skin because it's, because their armor is so low that you might not want it at all because it's not going to matter too much in most cases. And like having low armor, like if you want to pair with like an Anvari, we even have Anvar? Yes, we do. I thought we did. Yes, we do. So, like, he has his... This thing goes on the hero's the lowest armor. And if Aurora's the lowest armor, this will always go on her, which can act... There might be a reason why you want that to go on Aurora. So, stuff to keep in mind. It's all stuff to keep in mind. Because that can protect her from pure damage. Um, but we did do our Titan stuff. We opened our things. We didn't get, like, anything of note. No one got stuff to evolve... Avalon is getting closer, but we did get quite a few Water Titan Souls, though. But yeah, I guess we could probably do another Grand Arena fight, though. Oh, we could probably get this one. Hmm. Maybe. I think it has to be that one. Come on, Phobos. You got you're stronger than that. You can do more than zero damage. What the heck? Come on, Phobos. Wow, we're not going to get a win here. Well, I was hoping, but apparently not. Well, that's how, that's how the cookie crumbles, I guess. Um, necromancy. Gotta raise that, because that's the main reason you want her, is necromancy. Super good versus Rufus. That's going to wrap up this video. Thank you all for watching.